Bigfoot and the Aqueduct basically do the same thing, but their card text is phrased slightly differently. To bring clarity and consistency to our card text, we've rewritten every single card's text box. It's finally here, the eagle-eyed among you will have seen it in previous videos where I've been playing on development environments and you've seen previous versions of this. Essentially, we recognise the need for clarity and consistency on all of our cards. We have cards that are inconsistent in the way that they phrase similar abilities, as I mentioned. We have some cards that are just very long, very difficult to parse at a glance. Uh, so we've made some changes to our card text, to all of our card text. Our approach to this was to rewrite every piece of text programmatically in the first instance. We wrote code that would look at every single card's configuration, you know, all the different triggers and effects and conditions and durations that are applied to every single card's ability, uh, and assign a string of text to it and kind of build sentences out like that. And that gets you about 90% of the way there. That's That creates these logical and consistent sentences, but they're very robotic and they're not necessarily emulative of human speech. Not that you should try and emulate my particular human speech. I'm not very good at it. I'm getting better though. So we have an override in place where a human can review the text and if it feels a bit too robotic and a bit too machiney, they can write the text out correctly. And using that, we have rewritten every single text box in the game on every card, except the cards that didn't have text boxes before. I'm gonna have to sort out a new background, aren't I? So going back to Bigfoot and the Aqueduct, this is what they looked like previously, and this is what they look like now. The first thing you may have noticed about these are the new visual elements on the cards. The trigger lozenge, for example, all four of the triggers in the game at the moment, that's play, return, draw, and turn start, have a visual in indicator on the front of the card now, and that allows you to, at a glance, know exactly when an ability is going to fire off. We've also added visual symbols for all the different elements that can change in a game, so that's power, power per turn, energy, and energy per turn. Lock and burn also got some cool sprites. Just adds a little more visual intrigue. And as I mentioned before, these are two cards that functionally do exactly the same thing, so they are phrased in exactly the same way. This is a pattern you'll see across all the different abilities that have similar functions. I don't want to spoil too many of these because there are you know, 2,500 of them out there all ready to go soon, and they'll be releasing in the app very shortly. But what I will do is I'll show you what one of our future cards is going to look like in its current form, and what it will look like in its new syntax form. Thanks very much for watching. Keep it cute.